My name's Spencer Stiff and I'm the field operations manager for Redwoods Rising. Today what we're looking at is restored stream channel that was previously buried under six to seven feet of logging debris and dirt. This was some of the last old growth redwood logging that was done in this region. So to get the tractors through the creeks, they just filled them in with dirt. So this is an example of an untreated stream crossing where we have a legacy logging road that crossed this stream. If we look down in here, way down in here, we can see water flowing through this hole. This road fill prism acts as a dam. Fish cannot migrate above it. They cannot migrate back downstream below it. And it cuts off miles of spawning habitat above this area. Daylighting a stream involves removing everything that was previously burying the stream and opening it back up to not only water flow, but sunlight. So this channel has not seen daylight in over 60 years until we completed this project last year. So here we have clean, sorted gravels. That allows the water to percolate through the eggs that would be buried in these gravels by fish. The most exciting thing we've seen was we did a site last August and four months later in January, we had cutthroat trout spawning on gravels that hadn't seen sunlight in 60 years. So these plants here regenerated naturally, which is what we really want. When their roots grow into the stream, allow invertebrates to grow on them. These invertebrates provide food for juvenile salmonids, and without them, we don't have fish. Salmon are endangered, and they don't have a couple hundred years to wait. And this is part of what we're doing to help preserve salmon populations in California for not only commercial and sport fisheries in the ocean, but also in-river fisheries for native tribes and sportsmen. In a time, a forest like this will look like this.